Good evening. The time being seven o'clock. It's May 25th. This is the meeting of the Oxford Selectmen. Pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, which is General Law Chapter 30A, Section 18, and the Governor's March 15, 2020 order concerning imposition on strict limitations on the number of people that may gather in one place, meetings in the town of Oxford are being conducted via remote participation to the greatest extent possible. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access proceedings as provided for in the order. And I will take attendance. I will start with Selectman Triano. Present. Thank you. Selectman LeBlanc. Here. Thank you. Selectman Daniels. Present. Thank you. Selectman Sad is absent. And I am Selectman Lamash. So there are four of us. We have a forum. First item on the agenda is our reorganization of the board. And I'll start with uh, entertaining a motion for chair. I would just like to state that I would still like to be chair this year if that is possible. Mr. I'll Chairman, I make a motion to, uh, to nominate current Vice Chair Megan Triano as Chairman for the next year. I would second that. All right, we have a motion in a second that Selectman Triano would be Chair. I will call for a vote. Yes. Yes. No. And I'll vote no. That's two in the affirmative, two negative. So that motion fails. So I'll entertain another motion. I'll make a motion that we re, uh, have uh, Selectman LaMarche as the chair. And I will second that motion. And with that, I will call for a vote. No. Uh, no, thank you. Yes. And I'll vote yes. So that's two in affirmative, two negative. So that motion fails. Do I have another motion? Not hearing any, then in this instance, according to uh, Mark Rich, our uh, town council, he states that in the event of a tie vote, the current chair, vice chair and secretary would hold over until the board is able to reach a conclusion by vote on this matter. So that's where we will stand until we can change the situation. So that being done, we'll go to the annual appointment. Yeah. We'll start out with a full-time animal control officer, Kathleen Flynn. I would entertain a motion to approve that position. I'd make that motion. I'll second the motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second for the uh, Kathy Flynn as animal control. I'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. For an affirmative, one absent. She is uh, full time animal control. On call, assistant animal control officer will be Edward Hart. Maintain a motion to approve Ed as our assistant. I would make that motion for the term um, that goes through June 30th, 2022. I'll second. second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. I'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. For an affirmative, one absent. He is uh, in that position through this year. Uh, Member of the Board of Appeals, Peter J. LaFlash, until the year 2026. I'd make that motion. Second. Call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. For an affirmative, one absent, he is approved. Uh, Board of Registrars, Todd Hammond, until the year 2024. 
I would make that motion. I'll second the motion. I have a motion and a second. Call for vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. For an affirmative, one absent. He is our registrar. Trustee of the Charles Leonard Entertainment Fund would be Joe DePasquale until the year 2024. I would make that motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. For an affirmative, one absent. He is approved till 2024. So we have our parking clerk which would be Julian Connors until the year 2022. I would make that motion. Second. I'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes for an affirmative, one absent. She is good until next June. Uh, our auctioneer agent, Michelle A. Jenkins, indefinite. I would make a motion for Michelle Jenkins to be the auctioneer agent for an indefinite period in so long as she remains temporary town clerk with the understanding that when she is no longer temporary town clerk, the indefinite period ends with that. Second. All right. I will call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes for an affirmative, one absent. She is in that position. Municipal liaison to the State Ethics Commission, Michelle Jenkins, for an indefinite period of time. I would make a motion for Michelle Jenkins to be the municipal liaison to the State Ethics Commission for an indefinite period, so long as it relates to her being temporary town clerk. And when she is no longer temporary town clerk, the indefinite period would end with that. Second. All right, call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. For an affirmative, one absent. She is in that position indefinitely. Now we'll go to municipal liaison to the U.S. Census Bureau, Michelle A. Jenkins, also for indefinite. I would make a motion for Michelle Jenkins to be the municipal liaison to the U.S. Census Bureau for an indefinite period so long as she is the temporary town clerk. And when she is no longer the temporary town clerk, the indefinite period would end with it. Second. I'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. For an affirmative, one absent. She is in that position also. Uh, downtown beautification people, I'm going to read these. There's a series of them. They would all. Mr. Chairman, you muted yourself. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Must I hit a button somehow? Again, uh, this is the downtown beautification committee. These people are all um, would be serving until June of 2022. We have Joel Maisley, Juliana Maisley, Barbara West, Timothy West, and Cynthia Sad. I'd make that motion. Second. Motion and a second. Call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes, that's four an affirmative, one absent. They are all welcome to the Downtown Beautification Committee. Uh, second delegate for the CMRPC um, is uh, Christine Bird, and she'll serve until 622. Make that motion. Second. I'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. That's four an affirmative, one absent. She is a CMRPC representative. Thank you very much, uh, Kristen. All right. Uh, the next are constables for the town of Oxford. And again, they would all serve these 
people would serve till June of 2024. We have Gregory Kofsky, Richard Nealon, Stephen Lapamano, Ralph Miller, Michael Plant, and John Paniscus. Make that motion. Second. I will call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. It's four in affirmative, one absent. They are all constables to the year 2024. Thank you. Welcome to Oxford Sign Committee, Glenn E. Kravosky until June of next year. I would make that motion. Uh, second. Call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. Four in affirmative, one absent. Thank you, Glenn, for stepping up to that. Uh, representative to the Worcester Regional Transit Authority would be Laura B. Wilson to next June of 22. I make that motion. Second. I'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. That's four in affirmative, one absent. Thank you, Laura, for stepping up to that position. All right. Uh, for Cultural Council, till uh, June of 2024 would be Amanda Nicastro. Make that motion. Second. Call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. That's for an affirmative. One absent. Thank you very much, Amanda. We have two people that would serve till June of 23. The, on the Cultural Council. That would be Laura B. Wilson and Robert W. Krasinkas. Make that motion. Second. Call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. Four in affirmative, one absent. Thank you very much. Um, these three people will serve till June of 2024 on the Cultural Council. David Gustafson, Cynthia Sad, and Sarah Champagne. I'll make that motion. Second. I'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. That's four in affirmative, one absent. They will serve till 24, thank you. And then we have Cultural Council this person will serve until June of next year, 22, and that would be Deborah Ann King. Make that motion. Second. Call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. That's four in affirmative, one absent. She will serve till next year. We thank you all very much. Uh, next item on the agenda is a discussion to return to in-person meetings. Um, this was brought up because um, Selectman Triana was, was hoping we could go to in-person. And um, so we got some information today that the governor is trying to get the uh, extension till September. Um, so what would the board like to do? I, uh, I would like to make a recommendation that the board members start meeting for the boards in person. Um, any public hearing that's currently scheduled, um, with zoom, zoom addresses to that, uh, would still be, uh, no in-person meeting so just the board members in person and anybody who wants to attend the board of selectmen meeting can do so via zoom and then doing the public hearings uh we do have the setup uh i believe um in the boardroom to be able to be addressed by the public um via zoom on the tv uh, and i think we should make that uh from the next meeting through September 1st, pending any significant changes. Okay. 
I'll second that for discussion. Uh, any other board members have concerns with that motion? Uh, Mr. Chairman, just so I can clarify, so basically the um, the boards or the body of the boards themselves would meet in person, but the public would still meet via Zoom. Am I am I getting that correct? Correct. Okay, that's all I need to know. Thank you. Are you saying it just for, sorry, Mr. Chair, if I may. Yep. Mm -hmm. Are you saying it just for public hearings or for the public in general? I think in in general, um, until we get further guidance um, from legislation and all that, the, the board members can meet in person. Anybody who wishes to attend the meetings uh, will still push forward a Zoom Zoom address. I have a hard time with that because the town hall is open again. So I I personally think it would be fine to open it up. I think somewhere in here I had read that there was like a hundred person limit in who could be at a meeting. Um, I think that in my opinion, it would be fine to open the meeting to the public as well, given the state of Massachusetts is opening and our town hall is now open. Well, then we have to wear masks if, uh, if we let the general public come in. And I'm not a fond lover of wearing the mask, especially in the meeting, so. That's my opinion. All right. So if, 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 so if the public comes in, we are required to wear a mask. If they come in physically, they're re we're required to wear a mask and obviously they're required to re wear a mask too. But if we don't need, but if it's just the board as a whole meeting in the, in, um, the general public is still on Zoom, then we wouldn't need to wear a mask amongst ourselves. Is that, is that correct? That's the way I understand it because we'd be socially distanced. They, they're going to try to put us like three feet apart. So. Oh, I see. M Mr. Chairman, this is Jennifer. Do you mind if I add a few no, points? No, if you can add some clarity. Sure, I'd love to. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So the mask mandate statewide is lifted next Monday. So there would be no requirement to wear a mask in person. Um, and then also this would apply not just to the meetings of the Board of Selectmen, but all boards and committees throughout the town. So the only concern would be if the board voted to allow no remote participation, no participation by members of the public via Zoom, that there are hearings and meetings already scheduled with Zoom meeting posted. So those public hearings would have to be reposted. So as long as there was some kind of provision for a hybrid participation, uh, we would not need to repost those meetings. I'll, okay. I'll amend what I had stated before and um, to allowing board members and the public attend um, while still providing the option for remote participation to the public um, to attend our meetings. And I'll second that. And basically the reasoning we need to stay with remote is that um, especially in next meeting, we got the uh, issue of the earth removal and stuff and that's already been advertised. Um, that it's going to be remote. So that would be an issue for us. Um, and that guy's been waiting quite a while, so. I mean, as long as that, if I'm understanding that motion correctly, and it's, so it's giving people the option of either coming to the meeting or participating from home, I'm fine with that. But I think given that the state's opening, the town hall was open effective yesterday, mass mandates being lifted, I don't see any reason why we as a board shouldn't be giving the people the opportunity to come to our meetings again in whatever manner they feel comfortable with. 
Um, and that's not to say that board members are going to be comfortable coming to meetings too. So if board members want to stay home, you know, I, that's everybody's right. That's everybody's choice. But I think that we should at least have the option to choose how we want to participate at this point while they're still figuring out the rest of their legislation. I can agree with that. Any more discussion? Right, then I'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. That's four and affirmative, one absent. So at our next meeting in June, we'll see you all personally. And that's all we have. So I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. I would make that motion. Second. And I'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 And I'll vote yes. Four and affirmative, one absent. We're adjourned. Thank you all for joining in tonight. Have a good one. Have a great Thank you. weekend.